might interest Ghana. And what we do is to educate you on the foods and beverages you consume and whether they are good for your health or not. So today our attention is on bottled water brands on the Ghanaian market. What we'll do essentially is a little exercise to measure the pH levels of the brands on the table right now. These are some of the popular brands on the Ghanaian market. What the pH level measures is essentially whether the water is good for consumption or not. And people spend a lot of money to buy bottled water thinking that you know, they are investing into their health. But we'll find out if really that's the case or it's just like any ordinary water they buy on the market. It's nothing special. Even in some cases, maybe it's not even good for their health. Okay, so this is the pH scale. Now, if you're from 6 to 14, that is an alkaline based water and essentially it is good for your health. And from 5 down to 0, that's an acidic water and will not be very, very good for your health. So, if any of the waters we measured fall in any of these rooms, then you can tell whether it's good for your health or it's bad for your health. The brands we have on the table, this is Special Ice, one of the popular brands on the market. I'm sure you've seen them, you may have drank one or two of it. This is Awik, one of the new brands as well. Um, this is Ever Pure, also a very popular brand. Uh, this is Bell Aqua, I'm sure you know about it too. This is one of the imported uh, brands. This is Natural Spring Water Avian. Uh, this is Aqua Feel, also a local brand here in Ghana. This is Bovic, also imported uh, from the UK. Uh, this is Nestle, also imported. Uh, this is Baltic, one of the oldest water brands. In fact, we can say it's one of the first water brands in Ghana. This Verna. Uh, this is Bon Aqua. Uh, this is Bueno, one of the new ones. This is Ultimate, Ultimate. The last one is Bali Fresh. Bali Fresh. Great. Okay, so with this done, this chemical is the pH indicator. This is what we are going to use for our test. It's very simple. Uh, you can see all the calibrations on it here. Also, we have all the shades of color and what pH level it corresponds to. So, we test any of these waters. We can match it with the colors here and simply tell you what the pH level of the water is tested is. So what we will go on to do is to open up the brands from uh, Special Ice to Valley Fresh. So this Special Ice, you can see that it is properly sealed just like any or any you buy on the market. So take off the seal. So once we open up Special Ice, uh, we we'll pour a bit into this transparent cup. That amount, you're going to pour the same amount for all our brands. Ladies and gentlemen, that is done. We have all our brands poured at the same level in this disposable cup. So we'll get our syringe and we'll take a pH indicator. This is about 40 ml of water. So we are going to use about 0 0.8 and that's close to 1, 0 0.8 of our pH indicator for each
knowledge test on all these brands on the Ghanaian market, Volvi came last uh, with the lowest pH of 4.0. There's a caveat though, this is flavored Volvic, so chemicals have been added, hence it is acidic and so the low pH uh, uh, reading of 4.0. Uh, and if you look at the color shade here, uh, ranging from deep red into orange, into yellow, into uh, greenish yellow up, um, all these ones show that they are very acidic and they are not good for your health. You can also check on the pH uh, indicator on your screen. You can see that these brands are not too good for your health in terms of purity. Uh, they are acidic. And I'm saying Volvic is acidic because of the flavor added to it. Now, Everpure. Everpure has a pH level of 5.0 right after Volvic. The next one is Valley Fresh, which also has a pH level of 5.0. Uh, this Valley Fresh uh, 5.0. The next one is Born Aqua with a pH level of 5.5. Uh, next one is Optimate with a pH level of 6.0. Uh, bueno also 6.0. Um, Voltec, the most popular brand on the market, also 6.0. That tells you that it doesn't matter how popular the brand is on the market. Uh, the pH level is what counts and in this particular case the most popular brand has not the highest uh, pH level so you should be minded when you are consuming your water so Voltic has 6.0 for its pH the next one is Special Ice that also has a pH level of 6.0 and we have Aquafil Aquafil has a pH level of 6.0 as well. Uh, Verna, Verna also has a pH level of 6.5, so 0.5 more than Aquafil. Then Awake, one of the new brands on the market, has a pH level of 6.5 as well. Avian, one of the imported brands, has a pH level of 7.0. In fact, one of the good ones for you to consume. Uh, from 6.0 is base and then from there uh, you can have alkaline. Uh, 7.0 is neutral, so uh, it's good for you to consume. And then the next one is Nestle. Nestle has a pH level of 7.5, also very good for you. You can tell from the color shades. Uh, this is deep green, uh, turning almost into blue. And then the highest from our test today is Bell Aqua. From the popular brands on the market, easily accessible, Bell Aqua came to Hops with a pH level of 8. So you know which brands are good for you. If you are going to spend your money on bottled water because you want healthy water to drink, you should as well go for the most, the ones with the highest pH, and this time is Bell Aqua, or you can go uh, Nestle, the Nestle one, or Avian, the app. Those are the best for you to consume. Uh, of course, price is important, but these are the brands that you should be looking at. As far as us, consumer interest is concerned, our advice is you should as much as possible stay away from these brands because gems thrive in a very acidic uh, circumstance. So if your body is acidic, which means that the pH level of your body is low, lower than uh, 7.0, and you know that gems can dry in your body. But if your body's pH level is from 7.0 up, then you know that it will not be conducive for gems to thrive. And so drinking a lot of water or alkaline-based water is good for your health.